Vampire is a new RPG action game in which gamers play the role of a knight bloodsucker, Jonathan Reed. Below are some useful tips you should be aware of before you switch to the Iron Rich diet. Arm yourself with one-handed weapons and develop stamina. Single-wielded weapons are fast, allowing mobility and higher damage in combat. After you arrive at the Pembroke Hospital, get to the top of the facility, where you can find a surgical saw in one of the rooms. It's a decent weapon, but in order to make the best use of it, develop Jonathan's stamina. Blood points can be scored in combat. As you upgrade your weapon, pay attention to the enhancements that allow scoring blood points after you deal a hit. Try to get these improvements as early on as possible and you will be able to use your vampire skills all the time in combat. Enemies can respawn in a vampire. If you clear an area, enemies will reappear soon. While fighting enemies gives you only small amounts of experience, their loot might be much more valuable. Develop Autophagia. This is one of the best skills in the game. Jonathan bites himself and is treated with blood sucking. Further upgrades of this ability will allow you to regenerate your combat strength, which will prove to be really helpful throughout the game. Resting in bed shifts time. If you go to bed and rest, you will be able to distribute the experience points. On the other hand, the decisions from that night will start taking effect. The health level of the district will change, some characters will disappear, and so on. Dodging is key in fighting. Enemies often can perform very dangerous strong attacks. In such cases, you must avoid being hit at all cost. Keep your eye on the stamina bar. When you're attacking, always make sure you've got enough stamina left to quickly get away from an enemy and so on. If you use up everything on the offensive, you'll be exposed to counterattacks. Get hints from local residents. When you reach the Pembroke Hospital, you will be able to talk to people and learn about their history. This is very important because characters that you know more about will yield a lot more experience points if you suck their blood. Stay vigilant when using the unlocked dialogue options. These dialogues sometimes block new hints and the game does not have the load game feature. Do not suck blood from residents unless you have unlocked the instructions for them. If you suck blood from the inhabitants without knowing their history, you will gain just a few experience points. It is much better to help them, make them healthy, and then sink the teeth into their veins. Follow the main plot at the beginning of the game. It's probably tempting to walk around and start exploring the city right away, but you'll find quite strong enemies soon. It's best to initially follow the main story. After getting to Whitechapel, you will definitely have more freedom. And that's about everything you should know at the beginning of the game. Remember that Vampire uses an autosave system that prevents players from loading older game saves unless you back up your saves yourself. If you're looking for a full solution as well as all the information about items, collectibles, locations and hints about NPCs, please visit our game guide on GamePressure.com. Thank you, good luck and see you next time.